Bungie has just released a brand new Vidoc for the Witch Queen titled Light in the Darkness. In this video, we are going to recap everything you missed and the epic secrets lurking inside of Savathun's throne world. From the newly announced season of The Risen and Keitel to Void subclass updates, campaign puzzles, and ancient weapons, let's get right into it. Welcome on in there, Guardians. Let's begin this analysis. First up, if you haven't watched this Vidoc, I definitely recommend you do. It's just under 15 minutes, and it's jam-packed with awesome information from the developers themselves about this new expansion and how Destiny is going to evolve moving forward. This video is going to recap the major points from that and also sprinkle in some things you may have missed. The Witch Queen looks like it's shaping up to be one of the coolest Destiny content releases we've had to date, in my opinion. Bungie even confirming that this year will feature the most Destiny content they've ever released. The journey this time around is learning the secrets of Savathun. How did she obtain the power of the light, which we thought only belonged to us? And how far back does that plan extend, even to Destiny 1? The Witch Queen campaign, as stated in the Vidoc, will have a big impact on the story and the universe moving forward. The Light and the Dark saga is coming to a conclusion in the next couple of years, and this is really where everything begins. This is Chapter 1. The campaign will introduce many puzzles this time around, which fits perfectly with the schemes of Savathun and her loosened brood. They mention we'll be solving raid and dungeon-like puzzles in the story, which is going to be a nice change to freshen things up compared to the old, you know, just run and gun shoot and escape type of gameplay. We've had sneak peeks of the throne world previously, but some new details were mentioned that were quite interesting. Among the ruins of this world are sections that feel much more dark and ancient. They're closed off like the hive ruins we were used to in places like the Dreadnought, areas where Savathun wants to hide them away and forget about the past. Next to this, you're going to have areas where the Lucent Hive are. The Lucent Brood are the new Hive light bearers, and these areas seem to be much more open, bright, and are being retaken over by the powers of the light. The first season this year is titled Season of the Risen, and will involve our Guardian contacting Keitel for assistance in this Hive army. In Season of the Chosen, we saw how the Cabal created light-suppressing weapons when they attempted to take out and assassinate Commander Zavala. Now, Keitel didn't orchestrate that, but with the Hive using the light now, this could kind of come in handy. Among cutscenes, we see Keitel, Ikora, of course, one of the main focal points, and the crow seems to be back as well, spotted in the tower, I believe this is by Amanda Holliday. Also pictured in some other scenes are characters like Eris Morn and Saladin. I'm going to slow down all these cinematic scenes from the trailer right now if you'd like to take a glance at these.
So this specific cutscene, we see Ikora, what looks to be in maybe a flashback, or a specific cutscene where she learns about the worm gods as we see them emerging from the ground. Perhaps this is a flashback of Fundament all those years ago. Here's a shot of the map of Mars. I believe on the left here, this is the Enclave or Enclave, however you want to say it. And we can see multiple areas like Quagmire, possibly something after that it's cut off, Fluorescent Canal, Alluring Curtain, and Court of Something at the top right here. As we know, the campaign can be swapped between different modes. The Legendary Mode, or what they say Become Legend, is going to be a higher difficulty. The Legendary difficulty, which is called Become Legend, it's not for the faint of heart. It's gonna be loaded with these moments that are gonna be frustrating, almost like teeth gnashing, but when you get through those encounters, you're gonna feel like really accomplished. Double rewards, yeah. As people who have worked on raids and dungeons before, being able to broaden that experience for any kind of player who comes in is really important. Here is a shot at that screen with a bunch of different modifiers at the bottom left. Now this shot I couldn't really tell, you let me know down below, is this Sabathun's throne world or is this in the European dead zone? It could just be the same sort of materials on the ground here, but it kind of gave me European dead zone vibes when I first looked at it. Now something we saw in the collector's edition, which I made videos on, which will be out in the next couple of days, regards ghosts who are unpaired to guardians. They don't want to be with the guardian because they don't want to be with the light and they're worshipping the hive actually. Now in this Vidoc, when they talked about us destroying ghosts like this, it kind of feels wrong. Like yes, they're hive ghosts, but that thing might have been a guardian's friend at one point. So in future lore, we could possibly see some ghost angry at us destroying these ghosts, even though they're tied to the hive. Here are some new shots and gameplay of the glaive. The glaive is the new first person melee weapon, you can also shield people with it, and it also shoots projectiles, at a slower rate of course. Early on in the campaign we retrieve the pattern or the blueprint for the glaive after we track it down. It was said that Savathun was looking for an ancient weapon and we found this blueprint and crafted this. We've seen the UI in the Bungie Weekly update a couple of days ago regarding weapon crafting, but here is a look at it in action. You can shape and reshape weapons and change perks to your heart's content. Starting in Witch Queen, subclasses are going to get revamped. First up we have Void, and then the other two Arc and Solar throughout the year. Here's a look at some of the Void Fragments that was showed off. Melee Final Blows grant Grenade Energy. Your Lingering Grenade Effects have increased duration. Final Blows when surrounded by Combatants grant you Super Energy. One of the Void Walker Aspects is called Chaos Accelerant. You can press a certain button to overcharge your grenade, making it deadlier and more effective. For Vortex, it increases the size and linger duration of that. Axion Bolt creates an additional Seeker. Scatter Grenade has sub-munitions tracked to nearby targets. And Magnetic Grenade releases a short-range Void Blast. Another aspect is called Child of the Old Gods. Cast your Rift to create a Void Soul. When you damage a target with a weapon, your Void Soul will fly to them and drain them doing damage and, of course, weakening them. Stasis. Anyone can run suppressors now. I think that's the pretty cool that's thing probably, to be I'm able gonna to be do. running suppressor yeah. grenade oh, yeah. We wanted you to feel like you were the energy vampire, feel like you were the night stalker, feel like you were that protector, that big sentinel titan. So you're gonna see things like Bastion, a new titan aspect, where you take your big old sentinel shield, slam it into the ground, and create this void barricade that's gonna apply overshield to you and your buddies. 
My favorite aspect is probably Child of the Old Gods. As this warlock controlling space and time, I'm able to rip a hole into another dimension and then pull out this little like sentient black hole. Whenever I target an enemy, my little black hole buddy is gonna fly over there and start draining their life force. We've talked about some other things in this Vidoc, like the weapons. There's going to be, I believe, 48 in total new weapons for you to go after. Eight of those will be exotics. Beyond that, there wasn't too much besides the content we already are aware of. So I hope you enjoyed this little recap. Let us know down below anything we may have missed. And definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything Witch Queen related. The conclusion to Season of the Lost may happen today, so be prepared for some more videos on the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you guardians in the next one.